Okay, today I'm going to be boiling milk in my vacuum chamber without adding any heat at all. So milk really wants to be boiling at this temperature right now. The only reason it's not boiling is because all of the air molecules, all of the pressure from the air is pushing down on it and it's keeping all of the water molecules in the liquid state. But as soon as you remove the air molecules, it doesn't want to stay in the liquid state anymore. It wants to boil and evaporate. So when I put the milk in there, as soon as the pressure gets down to what's called the vapor pressure, the water in the milk is going to start to boil and it's going to start evaporating and it's gonna keep cooling the milk down. Okay, so first let's test the temperature of our milk. So this is around 79 degrees Fahrenheit, or for the people who get mad that I use Fahrenheit, 26 degrees Celsius. So it's just above room temperature, shouldn't boil, right? Okay, cold boiling milk in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, the pressure's dropping quickly. Oh, there it goes. Boiling milk at room temperature. <laughs> so you can see the chamber starting to fog up now because it's filling with the water vapor that's boiling from there just as if it were steaming hot but it's not hot at all Okay, let's open it up. Okay, now let's measure the temperature. Temperature now is much colder. So we got 15 degrees Celsius now. So it cooled off a lot. And while we're on the milk subject, I thought I'd also throw in a little Rocky Road ice cream. Let's we'll throw in some ice cream in the vacuum chamber and see what happens. Okay, I propped up the bowl on its side a little bit so you could see down in it. Okay, Rocky Road ice cream in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Sure what'll happen here. I don't know if it'll get bigger or what. It look like it's getting bigger? Not sure. Hey, the marshmallows in it are growing. <laughs> now the marshmallows are for sure getting bigger in it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let some air in now and see if our ice cream compresses. Those marshmallows sure got smaller in it. <laughs> I think overall the ice cream did compress. That was pretty cool. All right, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna eat this now. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see me crush anything in my hydraulic press or put anything in my vacuum chamber, let me know in the comments section and I'll see you next time.